What's going on guys? My name is Skill87 and in today's video we're going to be discussing the whole fiasco that's going on with the PlayStation Network. Now I typically do not do these kinds of videos. I tend to keep my channel with the unboxings, the reviews, and a couple of comedy videos once in a blue moon. I tend to not make videos about unconfirmed shit and just rumors. So that's the reason I avoided making a video about the whole PlayStation Network being down because there was no actual 100% answer as to what was going on. In my honest opinion, when it was going on, it was more like, I just thought it crashed. I was like, whatever, it crashed. It doesn't really affect me. I have an Xbox 360, I have a Mac, I have a lot of single player games, and Xbox Live is still up, so I'm still, you know, gaming and gaming. And, you know, my man Koopa made a very cool video. I had it featured for a while on my channel. I featured another one of his videos. He talks about Madden. And he talked, his educated guess was the network crashed because of Steam. I thought, you know, it sounded logical. I was talking to the Andy Martyr about it one day, and he, you know, told me it had to do with the PlayStation Store and all this other shit. And I'm like, hmm, maybe that is the answer. I come home last night, and I'm getting articles left and right sent to me by, you know, my subscribers. And uh, as usual, uh, iBrodio is sending me a link to his video, like he always does. And I'm watching this video, I'm looking up all the news articles, and I'm saying to myself, wow, Sony, what happened? Uh, I watched one of Black Bond's videos. Black Bond is just going nuts, talking about how Sony really messed up, and everyone's like defending Sony. And I'm like, listen, man, this is this is absolute nonsense that people are like not taking this seriously. All right, the people who aren't taking this seriously are the little 12 and 13 year olds who don't work for a living, and they're using mommy and daddy's credit card. All right, I'm 23 years old. I work for a living. All right, and you know I have identification, uh, you know, protection. On my credit card and my debit cards, you know, not anyone could just use my card. You know, using my card is a fucking process. I just got back from the bank, canceled basically half my shit, and reinstated it, you know, just in case. But um, because with the way the articles I'm reading are talking about, they have access to your information and all this shit. And for the working man like myself, I mean, that's that that bothers me. Like that the the a network that I trusted failed. And people have access to my, my full name, my address, my phone number, my zip code, my email addresses that are all linked to my bank accounts and whatnot. People seem to understand all you need is a person's name, address, and, and zip code. That's really it. And that's all you need to steal the identification. And all you kids are on this you know website on the forums defending someone like this. This is just, oh, it ain't no big deal. This is a very big deal, all right, for you little 13 and 12-year-olds. Mommy and daddy are probably, if, you know, if you don't explain it to them and they wonder why they're about to get a bill for several thousand of dollars on, you know, some dude bought every fucking thing in the PlayStation Network store, it's, this is ludicrous. Now, I'm not saying it's, it's gone to that level. It's a possibility. And the information that Sony's released to us, talking about they have access to this slight information, that's enough to have your identity stolen, all right? Um... And for people that know me on a more personal level, you would know why I'm a little kind of fucked up and freaked up about this, you know. And this is downright silly. All right, just got back, like I said, from the bank, fixed everything. Identity theft up the ass with me. Like, you, there's no way. Like, like even me myself using my own card is a hassle. But that's how much protection I have on my shit. And for those who are worried that they were, you know, not the brightest idea, but they put their main debit card information on their Xbox Live and PlayStation Network account. With this whole PSN fiasco, I suggest you, if you really trust Sony to get have this fixed, if you don't, like I don't, I don't fucking trust them. I went to the bank, I had that shit canceled. I said, fuck this, no one's taking my fucking money, my hard-earned money. All right, I work eight hours a fucking day, five days a week for that shit. No way, you ain't touching my shit. So, if you are like me, and just conscientious about this shit, or you want a peace of mind, I suggest you do the same thing. You can't fucking change your card information unless you have access to PSN. I thought that was so stupid. I, I cannot believe that without access to PSN, you can't go to your account information and, you know, erase the numbers and shit. I'm like, whoa. So the only idea I thought of was, cancel my card, bitch. You know, that's downright silly. So that's pretty much what, what I have to say 
about this whole fiasco. I think it's nonsense. I think it was very unprofessional how Sony went about this. I mean, I understand there's the, there's the concept of reputation before they release an official statement to the public about what's going on. They want to be absolutely 100% sure that the information they're losing, like the shit they're about to tell the public is true. They don't want to ruin the reputation. But all it takes is one day to ruin someone's life in fi financially. They waited, what is it, four days? Oh, hey guys, uh, PSN Network is down and shit. Uh, it's all good, we'll have a backup. Uh, four days later, uh, we, regret, we regret to inform you that um, this dude has your address, your name, your phone number. He knows everything about you now. Uh, my, my bad. Continue to support us. You know, trade for life and shit. Really? That is the most unprofessional bullshit I've ever heard. And I'm watching Black Mom's video, and Black Mom's making a lot of really big points. And everyone's like, no, fuck you, Black Mom. I mean, these comments side, these must be kids. Like, people don't understand, like, we're the older generation of gamers. We're the, we're the workers. You guys, you got mommy and daddy to, put, you know, pay for everything for you. All right? I got my own stuff. I pay for everything myself. Got my own cards. Last thing I want to, last thing I want to hear is the PlayStation Network failed and, you know, some douchebag from fucking Cuba has my information. It's retarded. So my faith in this network as a whole has just decreased, right? And I'm not saying this can't happen to Xbox Live. It's very possible. It can happen to Steam, like, but it hasn't happened yet. It happened to PSN, the free service. So I guess, you know, you take it how, you take it the way you want, but I feel that since it hasn't happened to Xbox Live yet, probably because there's so much fucking security and your money is being well spent. As with this free service, a couple of fucking kids or, you know, retards, faggot hackers, beat in a multi-billion dollar industry. They beat them. They fucking, they, that's retarded. That is crazy. We put our faith in a multi-billion dollar company and they're beaten by a couple of fucking hackers. Do you not, that baffles the shit out of me. I mean, whoa. So that's pretty much what I got to say. I know I'm going to get a lot of hate for this video. Because I'm going to do it on YouTube. Everyone knows that I love the PS3, but I love Xbox Live more, but as a console, the PS3 more. And here I am, you know, spewing out the truth. That's why people respect me on YouTube. I say the truth. Same thing in my review on PS3 exclusives like SoCom. It's an exclusive. People think I'm going to praise the shit out of it. No, it really wasn't a good game, so I'm going to knock it down. And as this, you know, this whole fiasco, PSN, Sony, they dropped the ball, so I got to, you know, I got to say what I got to say. This is bullshit. So um, get this shit sorted out. I can care less about PSN being down. I have a life. I work. I have other things to do. It's my information's at stake. So fix this shit, Sony. All right? Catch you guys next video. Peace.